Hey everyone, welcome to a series of videos I'll be making um, where in the next few months I will be replacing part by part what is currently in my old 2003 Dell. And we're going to make this into a gaming rig. Now, um, interesting story, we'll make it very short. My company was throwing out a server that happened to have desktop parts in it. So um, they gave it to me. I put all those parts into this case, which we'll show you in a minute or two. Um, and we gutted the old uh, Dell parts. Um, if we can go around my MacBook Pro here. This is the old motherboard. It's an old shit board because it has AGP, which um, they don't make cards for anymore, I think. It had DDR1, uses an old Pentium 4 processor. That was replaced. Um, it used to have an old GeForce uh, 6200 card, which was just bare bones. Before that, it actually had a GeForce 4 MX card. So this is really going back. Um, and the power supply was rated out 150 watts. So this is really going way back. Now, to show you a little bit of performance figures before we crack open the case to show you, um, we're going to show you actually what we started out with here. Um, as you can see here, I have a GeForce GTX 460 SE. The SE, okay, isn't a true 460, but it's close enough for me. Um, right now, the most powerful part in this case is the GeForce GTX 460 SE. We're going to show you the rating. Now, right off the bat, you're going to see it shows like a 4.9. Well, the graphics card is showing a 7.3. A 7.3 for my graphics card. The slowest part is, in fact, the CPU and memory, which we'll eventually replace. And uh, the hard drive I'll definitely be replacing with something with a little extra kick into it. Um, so as you can see, the performance is very smooth. Um, and that's because this is the graphics card. The graphics card, I have yet to run a game that really pushes its limits. Um, games I tend to play here, as you can see, uh, Dead Space 2, Bioshock, Burnout Paradise runs really nicely. StarCraft 2, awesome. Um, unfortunately, with StarCraft 2, I can run every other setting on extreme mode um, with uh, 60 frames per second, except for effects, physics, and one other setting. I think it's like uh, reflections. Those are CPU intensive uh, settings and the CPU is shit. So let me uh, show you what we have in here. This is uh, with the burn in test. Uh, we'll actually let you know what we have in here. As you can see, it's a Pentium. Uh, it says Pentium D, but it's really a Pentium dual core. This is the E2180 at two gigahertz. It's really slow, it's really shitty. As you could also see up here, it's two gigs of RAM, which isn't a lot, which again, my final build should have at least four. Um, and you can see the graphics card. Again, it is silky smooth. Um, now let's get into the inyards, and you'll see what we have. Okay, so with this side cracked open and the nice nifty flashlight that's built into this iPhone, um, you could see the inyards of my, my gaming rig. This I wouldn't consider this a gaming rig yet, but this graphics card is a beast. Um, what we'll do is I'm going to actually show you uh, every month. Every month the game plan is to replace one part of the computer. Um, the first part we're going to replace is going to be this power supply. This power supply is shit. It just really can't handle the demands that I'm placing upon it. This graphics card recommends at least 25 amps on the 12 volt rail. If you can look and we'll try to focus this a bit for you. As you can see, the 12 volt rails, there's only two of them, and one's rated at 19, one's rated at 20. So this box tends to blue screen every so often because the power supply is just like, fuck you, I can't handle this. Um, and the other limitation about this power supply, which I didn't like, is the fact that it doesn't have the six pin um, plugs to power the graphics card. This requires two, and I had to use four Molex connectors which I had to steal from the uh, CD DVD drives. Eventually, I'll just replace it with one DVD burner. They're like $25. It'll have SATA power and all that. 
as you can see, we have a hard drive here. I had to put it in the floppy drive bay because there, this is a Dell proprietary case and there was two hard drives supposed to be standing up, but one of these, the uh, power button switch, was just far too short. Um, so we had to make some sort of modifications. It has a stock cooling fan, which is more than enough for this build. I haven't overclocked anything. I don't plan on overclocking this at all. Uh, it's got two dim, uh, two dim slots for RAM which is one gig each. I'm not going to upgrade that because I'm going to re completely replace that in the final build. This motherboard supports only DDR2. The final motherboard will support uh, DDR3 um, and will be able to support dual graphics cards, which I plan on doing in SLI mode. For those who don't understand what SLI is, as you can see, this little like weird-ass connector, which I'm trying to focus for you, um, you connect a little SLI bridge chip to it, and that will allow two graphics cards, uh, namely if you want to use two of the same. It will allow them both to run it kind of in unison to do specific tasks. Um, it's not the most ideal solution, but it's still kick ass. Um, also, as you can see in that back white connector, I plan on putting a much better sound card um, in the final build as well. Right now I'm using the uh, GeForce, uh, not the GeForce, the uh, Sound Blaster X5 Go, which is plugged in via USB. Um, what else? Yeah, so um, the, the first month's part is going to be coming out in February. It's going to be replacing this power supply. We're going to replace it with the Antec True Power. Uh, t the model number is TP-750 Blue. It will actually have a blue LED light that lights up, which will make this thing look sexy. Um, the next month's part will be a brand new case. Now, there's a reason for doing that, and I'm going to explain that right now. The motherboard in here is what we call a mini ATX board. That's why if you go underneath it, as you can see, um, it doesn't have support for more than one graphics card. Plus, it seems short. Mo uh, the, I'm going to be getting a mid-tower case that will support a full-sized ATX board, which will allow me to have two graphics cards. Um, and when I replace that board, it's not going to fit in this case. So that's why the, the next part is going to be replacing this case. I have, I'm looking at the uh, Thermal Take, I believe it's the V9 Black X Edition case, which when you see it, you're going to see why I love it so much. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a step-by-step -step journey on tr transforming this into a gaming case, I mean a gaming rig. I'm telling you right now, this GTX card, if you guys haven't yet upgraded a graphics card, if you don't want to blow your dough on the most expensive card, the GTX 460 is actually a very powerful card, and it has a lot of potential in overclocking, um, which I have yet to do because this bitch here cannot handle it. So, yeah, this is the uh, uh, initial gaming uh, rig build. This is, I would say, version 1.0, um, and we're going to upgrade it every month. What I ask of my subscribers here, or anyone who watches this video, if you have any cool nicknames that we can call this, um, I know, like, um, I think, uh, what is it? The guy who does the, uh, is a good idea to microwave this, he nicknamed his The Bitch. And I thought that was pretty cool, but I don't want to copy him. I want to have something unique, something different. So if you guys have any ideas for a name that we'll call this gaming rig when it's finally complete, please post below. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be an, a really cool experience, something I've wanted to do for years, but just never really had the money to do it. And now that I have it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so... Um, I'll show you guys a full 360 view of this graphics card um, when we replace the power supply. That will be uh, in a few weeks, probably next week. I'll probably replace it. So I'll take out the graphics card and show you guys what it looks like. But as you can see, it's a, a two-slot design, so it has a... Uh, let me focus this for a second. As you can see, it has a cooling slot on the bottom. And I ripped out the bottom slot to add more airflow. But this card is very quiet. You can barely hear it. And the fan's running max, uh, not max out, but it's pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, and I'm also debating whether or not to get a Core i3 or a Core i5. I don't want to spend too much money on the Core, I, you know, buying a Core i5, but I know it, uh, a Core i3, the one I'm looking at, will outperform this, outperform this by three times. It has three times the uh, benchmark score than this uh, power supply. I'm uh, not power supply, the CPU. 
so yeah take care guys look out for future content um if you guys want to start seeing like gameplay footage on this rig i will be more than happy to do that uh, i'll probably have my brother or someone play a game and i'll film it so uh yeah take care guys Thank <laughs> you.